Hey guys, today we're reacting to what you need to hear about Friday Night Fork. And I'm doing this video because I am planning to play this game on my YouTube channel when Friday Night Fork comes out. This is everything I need to hear. I like the video, I put it on my YouTube channel. It's okay, it's here. But to say is that Dragon Age 4 will be okay. Now, let me explain. Since Anthem's release, there's been an uproar of fear and anxiety among the Bioware fandom concerning the future of the next Dragon Age title. Such statements are being thrown around like, has Anthem killed Bioware for good? The heck? And we'll never see the likes of Dragon Age 4. Oh and is Bioware truly dead? No. All of these remarks regarding the hyperventilation of Dragon Age 4 and Bioware, with no factual evidence, don't come too much as a surprise. Oh, yeah. Because we all know all it's of like the Bioware fandom is generally in a constant state of worrying. And Comment down by way if you ever played Dragon Age. What companion do you hate the most? It probably has to be Sarah and Vivian. Mostly Sarah. Vivian will have to be my second most hated character I hate the most. Anxiety. However, I've seen a lot of media outlets sharing a few of these same sentiments. And then there's a few of the odd articles thrown in there that just kind of hop on the mainstream regarding this fear for Dragon Age 4. Generally, they are each outlining that Anthem will be the death of Bioware and their role-playing game ways. Now, to be honest, they, we all know that... Look, Anthem guys, can't you why they gotta make a Dragon Age Because I will kill if Now, i you But I will be mad if they do not make a Dragon Age 4. I don't care about... Any other Bioware games, okay? None of them. I don't care about any of them. Any of them. Just Dragon Age. I don't. No, don't play Anthem. I don't play Mass Effect. Well, not Mass Effect, not yet. I don't play any of their other games. Also, because they get published by EA a lot. Guys, Dragon Age is the only series I ever played from Bioware, and Dragon Age is one of my favorite games. Was it going to be the game? Okay, that's weird. Want it to be. And regardless if you enjoy it or not, it's actually sold buckets in February, and the team are continually cool. supporting this game from this point on. So who knows what the future for Anthem will be in say one to two years from now? It will most likely be. Can I tell you what's wrong about James? He's okay. I'm sorry about the wind, guys. Josh, geez, it's going really windy. So guys, um, let me tell you the problem about. Oh wait, one second. Let me tell you about 2019 from 18 games are. Can I tell you what started all this? PUBG, Fortnite. Those games is the reason why Anthem is actually thing. Can I tell you what? Look, there's so much Battle Royale games. There's so much games similar to um, PUBG and Fortnite. Apex, for example. I never heard of that game before. Till Fortnite came out. PUBG, never heard of it till Fortnite came out. All this and like what let me think um call of duty 4 fortnite they created that game because of fortnite in pubg those games literally changed the gaming industry just made it all about microtransactions like look i'm worried and i heard that blades has microtransactions that's not surprising because it's a mobile game like it's normal for mobile games that have microtransactions it's pretty normal but now it's hitting video games. That's really messed up, dude. That's pretty messed up. Like you have to pay to win. So like, I'm sure don't play Blades. Don't worry. Like, um, let me think. I got so scared when I heard that Trident H four might have microtransactions. For example, I did a video called My Mafia Girlfriend on episode one. I stopped playing the game because they wanted me to pay so I could choose the dialogues. That made me so mad, dude. So I just gave up on the game much better improved game. In any case, this game is now well on its way to improving itself with its 10 year plan and content roadmap. Believe it or not, but Anthem will not be the death of Bioware just yet. So rebuttaling the idea that Anthem will be killing Bioware... I think it's kind of cool, well, I never played it though. Let me now looks pretty cool give though. You some hardcore truths about Dragon Age 4. To hey, put Cassandra. your mind somewhat at ease. To give you some reason why you needn't fear for Are you romancing her? Age. With all the sour content and news regarding Anthem, Andromeda, and Bioware... Look oh, guys, fun fact, try... I made mean, the field comp, the game that changed my life. Dragon Age is the reason why I play role playing games, dude. And, um, Dragon Age 2 is my favorite Dragon Age because it's the first one I ever played. I never play Origins yet. I'm sorry, I know that kind of sucks. And I was, when Dragon Age and Christians, you know, I love the game so much. I love the mechanics. There's one thing that kind of made me a little bit mad. 
there was not a lot of romances. Like, there was, like, well, let me think. Sarah, um, Vivian, another. Zantra, um, or who else? Josephine, and, um, et cetera, et cetera. But, like, Trident H2 had way more than that. Like, way more. And I'm pretty, I don't know if Origins had a month, but I'm going to just take a guess and say it does. Trident H2, like, if you're having one, that's probably going to be Cassandra. They, like, they focus more on the men than the women um, you have in your team. And, dude, you can even one match the scout. Dwarf scout. Like, that's a bit weird. Okay. Like, I would actually be a little happy if one match more again. Because I... Mm -mm. Or Liliana. Also, who else could you... Um, like, I just wish, like, they made... Like, it was a little, like... The one match you, you probably would have chosen if you went for a boy is your day, and you probably want to just went for it. Um, what's his name again? Um, and, um, another club. I have got his name, but damn, damn it. And, uh, and, damn, I, it's been a while, dude. It's been about a year since I played Trident H. Can I tell you why? It's because, uh, my PS4 been broken for a very long time. Yeah, kind of sucks. So, yeah, but I still have this all in my memory, dude. Don't worry. So, yeah. But if you're going to go for like a male, it will probably be you're neither going to have a good Sandra or, or Josephine. Those probably are the two. If you're a little freaky though, you probably won't went after the Dark Scout. Because they'll like it kinda disappointed me a little, dude. They kinda really disappointed me. OS future. Let me know. Though the only one I actually enjoy having a romance with would probably be Josephine and Cassandra. But comment down, is there actually any more romances? Because I actually really want to know that. And faith for the future of Dragon Age 4, and why it's going to be okay. So first up, let me start with the team who are created. Is he using Dragon mods? Age 4. Of course, it's under production by the very same team who created Dragon Age Inquisition, Bioware's Edmonton Studio, who are utilizing the Frostbite engine. Now, this may sound alarming since Anthem and Andromeda both used Frostbite. However, so did Dragon Age Inquisition before them. This was, in fact, the first team to create an RPG using this engine. And actually, they did a pretty good freaking job. I miss that game. I don't play that game, dude. I don't Dragon play it, yeah. will be on the Frostbite engine, of course. That is sheer speculation. But I imagine it will be most likely. EA forced the developers of Len Respawn Entertainment to basically use this engine but also if you think about it it'll actually be you know what guys you know what i just realized you know would be a pretty cool romance if they let you romance hawk that would be pretty cool that be honest that would be pretty cool but eh, before the game been out for about five years now i doubt it the developers of this engine now they've worked Maybe with for games for. and they can also port and copy a lot of things from inquisition's state directly into Dragon Age 4, utilizing a lot of that game's resources and technology that's already there. We need more solace animations? Hey, let's pop one out from Inquisition and just revamp it for Dragon Age 4's engine. There you go, copy and paste. We need more nugs around this area? Hey, let's just use Inquisition's nugs. You see what I mean? Now, regarding the developers themselves, the people behind these games, Yeah, well, it's Patrick usually more, I've never seen close before. ...writer since David Gida left post-Inquisition. He created the character Solas and has been a bio with uh, since the last Oh, yeah, you go. Um, well, man, Solas, but I forgot about that. But you probably would just well, man, Solas if you. you I think you only could romance him if you were an elf girl. Kind of sad. think for creating characters named okay. Solas, believe it or not. And other than Gade himself, there's no better man then weeks for the job at writing the next narrative. Especially when this future plot is going to be revolving his creation itself, Mr. Big Bad Dread Wolf. So weeks is your man for Dragon Age 4. Under his writing, we can expect quite an exceptional narrative. And John Epler is his second in command as he is the narrative director. Mm. His work includes the entire Trespass DLC story. Yeah. It was under his damn fine execution and direction, which I say is damn fine because he did a hell of a job with that dlc yeah. and it's forwarding narrative now there's been large concerning rumors back in december about john epler and his personal political stance somehow affecting the plot that'd be cool guys if they what it's about copy and paste would that be cool if he does like did what um oh um some guys are trying to do with sky and they're trying they're putting oblivion into skyrim like what would they? What would? Ooh, I think it would be pretty cool. If they did 
like they put Dragon Age two in um Dragon Age Inquisition. I know people are like, oh my gosh, I can't this like the horrible Dragon Age game ever. Oh my gosh, screw you. That's the first one I ever played. That's actually the only reason. Um, the only well, I don't know. Of Dragon Age Four. Now to put this topic short and put it in the bud, frankly, because I've talked about it way too much. First of all, he's a narrative director, not writer. That means that he tries to make sure that there's a cohesive narrative in the cinematics, in the codexes, in the environmental storytelling. Just making sure everything is evening up to be telling the same story. Oh, guys, by the way, <sighs> my character from Dragon Age: Inquisition was pretty. <laughs> Let's just say he looked very handsome. Sorry, also in dialogue too, he's not actually writing any dialogue, he's not actually writing any law, any story, he's just making sure that it's being directed and executed well. And also, if you're worried about politics in Dragon Age 4, well, it's always been a Dragon Age, it's not a new plot focus. They're just going to be trying different politics, considering they're going to Tevinter Imperium speculatively. So you can imagine that there will be a different. Oh crap. Different political game in Damn, but how long? Anyhow, his wow. politics aren't going to like be a game. Don't worry about it. Anyhow, moving on, Alexis Kennedy has also been freelance writing since 2017 for Dragon Age 4. His work will influence a lot of the dark, shady parts of Dragon Age, as his work is often inspired by his own experiences with death. It was speculated that Alexis that? was writing something to do with cults, which sounds direct to Dragon Age's dark fantasy roots. So bring on the dark fantasy storytelling once more. Now in terms of the soundtrack, we're really still not quite sure who worked on that piece that occurred in the Dread Wolf Rises teaser trailer. Mm -hmm. However, I expect the return of Inquisition's Trevor Morris, and if not that, potentially Origins' Ainon Zer. Either way, both soundtrack artists are phenomenal, incredible. Now, when is Dragon Age 4 coming back? I really want that game, I mean, like, coming out, because, like, when it comes out, I am going to make my dad give me a PC, dude. Dragon Age Justice. We're really I think I have a PC before that. This time around. Look, guys, when Dragon Age... Oh, I'm sorry, I, I can't see me, by the way. Um, it's pretty dark. My bad. When Dragon Age 4 comes out, that is the only game I'm playing on my channel. I ain't doing no reactions, no flaws. Okay, maybe some flaws. No games, just Dragon Age. Not till I beat every minute of that game, dude. I'm gonna do other playthroughs. All that In any stuff. case, whoever did that Dreadful Fries' track, it was beautiful. And regarding previous Inquisition... You try and age... Oh, crap. No. Again, a lot of these guys I'll be honest, dude. Try and age for... Um, soundtrack was... I'll be honest. He is white. It this was one. pretty Nick amazing. Nick is returning to do concept art. Of course, he did the new mural. Oh, yeah. Dreadful Fries' trailer. Mark Dara will be the exact... Oh, he crap. Sorry, guys. Sorry. And there will be many others returning from Anthem to Dragon Age, since Anthem has obviously finished its production. Now, something you need to know is Mike Laidlaw, David Gator. Hey, who's that? Hey, it's Hawk! Ben Glynis, Aaron Flynn, and many more, they don't work at Bioware anymore, so please stop tweeting at them for news. Especially Mike Laidlaw, he's getting a lot of tweets. And he's working with Ubisoft in Quebec now, so leave him alone regarding Dragon yeah. Age content. You want to tweet at Patrick Weeks and John Apple instead because they're actually working on the game. Guys, my favorite game besides Skyrim would have to be Dragon Age. Two, and third has to be Inquisition, dude. Yeah, I got no idea when Dragon Age Two means to me. That game started. The, like, that's the only game why I played Skyrim. Why, if you think about it, that's the only reason why I'm gonna play Blades. Only reason why I play Inquisition. I was so happy when I heard the game come out. But dude, it took me three years. Hey, I, yeah, three years to actually play the game. Because that's how book I was. But I o always remember the game. I always remember the game. I remember never watching parts of that. Like, part one, part two, like playthroughs of it. I never watch it. Cause why? Because I did not know what's gonna happen. I was so happy when I saw Hawk. Like, dude, if I did a PC at the end of the month, or so I'm gonna, I'm delete. I'm selling all my PS4 games. That also trying to use I'm just gonna buy all PC versions of them. Also, I should be getting a lot of money. So I'm. Yeah, you're about to see a lot of playthroughs probably in a few months, dude. 
I'm going to the end of the year later. Give Alexis likely. Kennedy a few tweets, and especially Mac Darrow, because of course he's producing the game. But Laidlaw, give him a rest. Now, moving away from the developers, we know that multiplayer is in the works, but nothing has been said regarding what we can come to expect. And how okay, I'm going to say a cuss word right now. I'm going to be so pissed if they do a Battle Royale game. If they just do it like BO4, a Battle Royale game. That's what make me so mad if this does a ba Battle Royale. That is what make me so mad. And if they make it a battle royale, they better have character correction. Or I'm going to be so mad. It cannot be an MMO. They could probably have a mode for that. But it better not be an MMO or or a battle royale. None of those. Just a simple RPG. Just with a bit of tragedy on with it. Dude, I will be so disappointed if it's an MMO. I will hate that so much, dude. You got no idea. It will affect the single player. All we know is that Bioware were hiring an engineer in January to create this multiplayer mode separately from Dragon Age's single player production. I know all of us are hoping that multiplayer will have no attachments to the single player and it will be its own contained thing that is far, far away from any single player ties. And if anything, what we can come to expect is perhaps a better horde mode like Inquisitions, hopefully with a better combat system and just more mechanics in there. On top of this, Dragon Age 4 will have major... No, it kind of made me a little disappointed about the online mode. For some... I don't know. I actually surprisingly never played it, but it looked like... To, I had the PS4, PlayStation Plus. I don't do that. Um, Sadly, when I was... um, Okay, how do I rephrase this? Um... It looked like you could only use normal other characters. I hope now because of EA, the next EA online mode I they have in Trinian Age. I hope that you could use our character character or create a new one. I really hope so. By the way, it can't like the game cannot be based in an MMO like or a battle royale. They could probably have a mode for that, but they better just have a simple story mode, dude. Be in the regard of the multiplayer mode. Maybe more updates, more characters, more maps, perhaps like Anthem, but just with the self-contained multiplayer. However, again, we're not sure what this will look like. For a single player, it could just be a story DLC roadmap after launch, like Assassin's Creed Odyssey. The treatment of that DLC is perfect. You get so much story content weekly, and then you have massive expansions monthly. And of course, you have remap masters of Assassin's Creed 3 and loads of stuff yeah. jammed into a season pass. It does live service incredibly well. Here's hoping we could get something like that for Dragon Age 4, having more quality narrative content after launch with one of them road maps that we all love to hear. Now the ongoing title for Dragon Age 4 is The Dread Wolf Rises. That's However, the title? This was more likely a fan trailer to build up hype for those who are really dedicated to Dragon Age's narrative. The real title for the game may be something quite different, probably a single word like the previous entries. I like the title Dragon Age Imperium. I like that. I, so it could be too similar to Inquisition. What about you guys? What do you think about a potential uh, title? Hit me down in the comments. If I was talking for a title, neither Dragon Age War or Imperium. I kind of like that. But the Tread with Vices, that's a lot of words, dude. That's a lot of words. It's like, that's a lot of words. Like they put like that's a that's that that sounds like more of a DLC to me. It's like that sounds like a DLC name, not a game name. Imp I if I had to pick Imperium or um or um what's it called in Trident Age for? Oh so guys, so this is gonna sound weird. I, when I was playing Trident Age, when I beat the game, I kept having I kept thinking what would happen. My theory was that um you would probably have all the old characters in the Walmart thing. That the Walmart your, the character that you please well match, the Inquisitor will die, and the well match, whoever you well match will want revenge. That's what I think is going to happen. That's what I think, or the well match is going to die, and the Inquisitor will want revenge. Dude, that's what I think. It's on a title for that's what I think was going to happen. I know, weird, now, right? regarding the plot, it's speculated that we'll be going to Tavinta via Trespasser's Ending. More likely, the game will focus on a northern faded setting. And yeah, we'll be frontiered by a heavy magic based society with some of the most oh, controversial cool. views in all of Fadis. Oh, Bobby, if you do not know what Tavinta is, it's technically um, Afghanistan. Okay, that actually sounds a little bit racist. Let me think. Um, hmm. What place has slavery and allows you to use magic? We're not pretend magic is um. Hmm. No, it's just a vendor. Slavery. I wonder if the vendor's handy. Over deep topics. Solas is going to serve as the antagonist, or at least a contagonist role, will most likely be rivaling. 
this elven god as he plans to tear down the veil. And we will be playing as a new protagonist as we have done the past three games. This is just a trend following the Dragon Age franchise, unlike Mass Effect where you get to play as Shepard throughout the games. For Dragon Age, we've always had a new protagonist and I'm assuming that will be the same case for Dragon Age 4. This is something that Michael Aidlaw tweeted back when he was working with the team, so I'm assuming that- Oh, that actually be weird if they just used the old Inquisition or- Oh, I think that would be a little bit weird because like, you don't know, like, it's trying to be a little weird. I think that would be weird, so yeah, a new protagonist sounds more like it. Yeah. Dude, I hope I get PC. Now play. regarding next and generation of gaming, again. we can only assume that this will be a next gen title. So with that we can expect more detail, more quality gameplay and yeah. cinematics, especially with the Frostbite engine. With Andromeda, they really aimed to have a very cinematic experience. With animations, body language... Guys, I kind of like a trauma map. And trauma. There was a lot of glitches with the face though. Uh, my character kept being the horriblest glitches ever. ever. Though I really like the game though. It's also it's probably because I did not have an update version of it. Like probably like it was 10. Dude that was like a year ago. So like I had a play. I had the game for one about three, two weeks and just sold it. Because like I wanted like I just wanted a new game. I like the game but yeah, it's, I didn't feel like playing it. Like, the story mode was a little bit bland to me. But I like the game. Quick scenes, two people speaking at the same time. They really tried to forward that. So you can imagine what they can hope for with Dragon Age 4. With it being but I never finished the game, sadly. Animations, cinematics, all of that juicy good stuff. They can really reach for the stars, especially with the Frostbite engine and its ability to really capture detail. Now, apparently Anthem was hinted to be influencing the future of Mass Effect and Dragon Age from here on out. Now, we can crack as many guesses as possible as to what this means, but I assume it's probably to do with the live service elements and potential DLC roadmaps. Hopefully, it's not the multiplayer tie-in, but again, we can guess as be. to what Anthem is influencing. It could just be tighter gameplay, it could be larger maps. There's so many things we can speculate there. Now, we originally were expected to hear something next EA Play on June 9th, 2019. However, EA Play has since been canned, and now EA are following the event up with direct live streams instead. So, no large trailer reveal in front of the public before E3. Perhaps Dragon Age 4 may now just have a trailer showcased on one of their live streams. Not too sure how this is going to go because it sounds like a new thing. Then again, Apex Legends was revealed on a live stream, so it could just be in the same vein as this. Now, if not, there is always the Microsoft conference at E3. Not too sure if that would work or not with EA. And of course, there are other. By the way, y'all should know that my channel. I know I play Trammel Z and stuff like that. My channel is supposed to be mostly with off around Skyrim and Trajan Age. Those games are supposed to be what's with off the overwhelmed. Events late down the line, of course, Bioware are always attending PAX. And of right here, Dragon Age Chelsea? Origins is going to be celebrating its 10th anniversary this year. I'm pretty sure it'll be in October. Bioware have always been hopeful for a remaster remake for this game. They've been hopeful. It's a tweet, you know. It doesn't mean that they're making one, but they're at least optimistic about it. If there is a better time to release a remaster, it's on that day. If not, then they could potentially reveal the time. It would be pretty cool if they did release a Wii Master, I'll be honest. If they will release a Wii Master for Origins, I'm not even play it because I never played Origins. It would be pretty cool to like um play a more advanced version of it because the game came out, I think, in 2008. Or a trailer for the next Dragon Age game. It's at least something on Dragon Age Origins' 10th birthday. Now, Dragon Age 4 is expected to be released around 2021. That's two years from now. Oh. It's currently under deep development as the team are now returning from Anthem to proceed. Hey guys, um, I think that, uh, one second, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I kind of lost myself. Oh, so it might take, it been, so if they release in 221, dude, that's what I mean. They had to made one in seven years. Oh, that's a little weird. Also, how old do I be? Um, yeah, I'll be 17 when that game comes out. Oh my gosh, I'll be so old. Yeah, I'm pretty sh sure that I'll f I'll I'll have Trident Age finished <laughs> all of them. Dragon Age, it was originally in a skeleton team with a few of the developers, but of course Anthem's development preceded Dragon Age and they needed to spend more time. Now they're all back to Dragon Age to work on it in deep development. 
Other than that, all I can say is Dragon Age 4 is seemingly going to be okay. It's got dedicated, hardcore RPG developers behind it with a powerful engine that they really just need the time to crack on with it. Judging by Anthem and Andromeda, which I've done a lot of this past month, time is something that both those games needed. And I know that Anthem got six years of development, but it still needed longer. And it's going to be the same case for Dragon Age 4. They're going to need the time to just develop this game on the Frostbite engine. It's still a new engine for these developers. Wow. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just be honest. A lot of... Uh, dude, bl the new, um, Wed Fall is supposed to be released in two years, and now this one's supposed to be three? Damn. <laughs> Until they're making oh, a no. role playing game, not okay. a first person shooter, which Dude, is crazy. Apt for. They're developing a new entire system for this engine and they really just need the time. Now, the potential. Probably cool, guys, if I had 30, um, 30,000 subscribers by then, that would be pretty cool. I know that's not a lot. Like, I know that's not a lot. That would be pretty cool. There for Dragon Age 4, all they need is for EA to just let them create their masterpiece. So, EA, don't rush the BioS studio and just let them work in peace. Yeah, EA. Worst gaming company ever. Yeah. Yeah, look what you did to Star Wars Battlefront. You also will win the gaming community for your microtransactions. <sighs> Damn you, EA. Damn you. I'm looking at you too out the fishing. BO4, Black Ops 3, and like the blue great stuff their but. own internal deadlines maker knows that dragon edge 4 is already under a new i start to doubt it. i mean sorry for my language i will be so, i will make a video about if if um ex ea if they watch the game i would totally make a video about it dude because i hate ea dude i like i the I don't also by the way I don't like sports. That's also one of the reasons. Oh, the only game I ever liked was this cool boxing game. But dude, I am going to be so mad they dare watch it. Pressure. Dragon Age Four is practically Bioware's last hope. We all know that Bioware can do it. They have the graft for it. They gave us Inquisition. They've given us masterpieces in the past, and the team is still there. So it has the potential. It just needs the time to just craft this game on this engine. Hopefully having Inquisition as a previous experiment on the engine will let them now work on Dragon Age 4 in full scale. And they won't be settling down to previous generation consoles like they were with Inquisition. They can now just go full on with the Frostbite engine. All we've got to do is remain hopeful and inspired for what they can create for the future of Dragon Age. Mm -hmm. Don't let the clickbaits and the main headlines and the media outlets let you down. Unless they have official news. I've seen a lot of clickbait. Oh wow, I've been for recording Age 4. for a while. Don't be stupid if you're not worrying and Anthem is the death of Dragon Age and Bioware. It's not. Bioware have enough of a chance. Anthem wasn't even that much of a failure. It sold really well. Dragon Age is going on its way. Yes, Andromeda was a mistake, but that's the Montreal team who have been cast down to EA's other studios. Dragon Age is under its Edmonton team with the developers of Inquisition and a few of the remaining Mass Effect trilogy and previous Dragon Age titles. It's on its way, guys. We've just got to be hopeful. We've got to stand above and just Remain strong and not get caught in this web of fear and anxiety that the Bioware fandom love to do. Stay away from red. Dude, I am probably so happy when that game comes out. You know what, 17 year old King? If you see, see me, like if you see this video, remember, you were waiting for that game. I can't tell you why, one of the reasons why I like having a YouTube channel. When I look back on my videos, I've. I, in my well, in my playlist, and when I see vloggers, I will always find that Trajan H video. I will always find it. That's why yeah, I'm gonna be so happy. Just remain dude. hopeful for the future of this. Skyrim too. It's gonna Those happen, guys. Skyrim. We're just gonna be supporting Weeks and Eplet. Bala, I follow Shelter, Skyrim, but Bala, I'll check them because they're not here. Andromeda. Let's move on now. Let, let's look at what they can do for the future, and let's just give them support and see where Dragon Age 4 is going to go from now. Because goodness knows they need all that support. So give it to them. Give them love on Twitter, and just remain excited for Dragon Age 4 because it's gonna happen and it's on time. And all we've got to do is wait and just support what they're doing. Hey guys. So all your things, Dragon Age 4, the news, the up. Dude, I'm gonna be so happy when the game comes out. No, buddy, thank you for telling me all that stuff. That was more of an interrate, like, in 
inspired video that you used to inspire people. What the heck is that? I used to inspire people. Didn't really give that much information, I'll be honest. I could give a lot, but not like super a lot. But thank you. That's a very good video. And I bet it inspired a lot of people. Stop me hurting. Also, um, to the 57 uh, people that dislike to go burn in the hole. Also, track doll, thank you for this video. I would totally subscribe to you, but this is, I would not be surprised. This is the only video I'm ever going to watch of you. Sorry, I'm being honest here. I don't want to be lying. Guys, but if y'all want to watch um, Dota's channel, like, subscribe, by the way. And um, I think I'm going to end the video right here at 30 minutes. Wow. So, guys, I'm in the video right now. Please subscribe. Not to be here. I'm out. Bye-bye.